Welcome to Car Audio Fabrication. In this video, we're going to show you how we make our terminal connections to power supply wires. We will show what tools we use and how we incorporate wire ferrules for connections into amplifiers that use set screw style connections. We will also discuss how we protect the wire. Let's begin. For our average wire connection, we need five different things. First of all, we need the wire itself. For the amplifier end of the wire, we need a wire ferrule. For any sort of bolted-on connection, we use a compression lug. Finally, we also need heat shrink tubing along with TechFlex wire wrap. For any sort of bolt-on connection, we will use a compression lug. For this sample tutorial, I'm using these thick copper lugs. In applications where the lug is exposed to the elements, you'll want to use tinned copper lugs. I prep the wire by carefully cutting away the wire insulation. You basically want to cut most of the way through the insulation, but not all the way where the blade is contacting the wire strands themselves. This is to avoid cutting any of the wire strands. You should basically have to tear the final bit of insulation away as you pull the insulation away. Next we slide the lug onto the wire. We want to make sure that there's no loose strands hanging out. With the lug on the wire, we now use our wire crimping tool to crimp the lug. I was actually able to find this tool for under $40 and it's been working great. Be sure to check the video description for the link. You may have seen others using solder to make these sort of connections. Although solder is a great alternative, it does take time. Using this crimp tool actually creates what is called a cold weld connection and holds the wire very well. In all my attempts to pull the lug off the wire, I was unable to do so. Now that the lug is applied, let's take a look at using wire ferrules for amplifier or other set screw style connections. I want to point out that this wire I'm making is for demo purposes only. Normally you would want a fuse at some point along the wire to protect the wire in the event of a short circuit. For now, we have loosely applied the wire ferrule and we're going to hold it in place using heat shrink. Before we do this though, we need to cut a length of TechFlex. TechFlex can be used to color code, bundle, and protect wires. I get my TechFlex from wirecare.com. I'm using this snake print TechFlex and cutting it using a heat knife. You can also heat up a sharp razor blade to make the cut. The heat melts the TechFlex back together as it cuts to prevent fraying. You apply the TechFlex by sliding it over the wire. I then secure the ends of the wires with heat shrink. If you are a shop that is looking to brand your installs, Wirecare also has custom printing services to add your logo. You're obviously not required to have the custom printed heat shrink, I just thought it was cool and I wanted to show you guys. Adding the heat shrink secures the ends of the TechFlex and temporarily holds the wire ferrule. The advantage of the wire ferrule is now we don't have to worry about any of those pesky loose wire strands that can potentially short out between terminals on the amplifier. This also gives us a much cleaner look. To secure the ferrule, we insert it into the amplifier and then tighten down the set screw. The set screw secures the ferrule to the wire, and it also holds tight within the terminal. I once again tried my hardest to remove the wire from the wire terminal, but I was unable to do so. Using these techniques, I have found that the wire connections are very reliable and last for years. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate if you could take a quick second and smash that like button. If you're new to the channel and enjoyed this video, I have many others that I think you'd enjoy as well. They are on screen and listed in the video description. If you really enjoyed these videos and would like to help me out with the making of them, please check out my Patreon page. A special thanks goes out to Emmanuel, Rory, Andrew, Eddie, Eric, Richard, Mark, Truman, Jaime, Jerry, and Jason, along with all the other Patreon supporters. Thank you guys. 